Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts part 15 of my weight loss journey. So stay tuned. So if you watched part 14 of my weight loss journey, you know that I went to Mobile and once again while I was traveling, my weight went up. Uh, because, well, while I was traveling, I was just eating anything and everything. I, like, ate constantly on the way down there and back. And I ate everything my family cooked. And <sighs> there were birthday cakes and all of that. So, yeah, I ate terrible there. And I ended up gaining weight there. Um, so, last, or when I last weighed in at uh, the end of part 14, I weighed 145.4. So, when I got home, I started out doing okay. I, I actually did get back into doing everything I was supposed to. It took me like a day or two, and then I got back into it. And I did get some exercise. Well, okay, also I want to say, the last vlog ended on a Wednesday the 12th. And so, I didn't do... Uh, a weigh in on Sunday the 16th because it was just a few days later um and at that time I was kind of like just getting back into everything uh but then and I did work out uh like two or three times before this event happened I hurt myself I actually hurt my left foot I was wearing sandals I tripped on some concrete steps and I'm not going to show you this because it's not cute. But um, the toe next to my big toe, I completely ripped the toenail off. And that was excruciatingly painful. Um, and it was bloody and awful. And yeah, so I ripped that toenail off and I cracked my big toe toenail like at the very top of my toenail like where it meets the end of my toe um it cracked in the middle and it was just like a little short crack and so i cut my toenail down as low as it would go but the crack did go like past the skin and uh about the time that my other toe started to feel a little bit better. You know, I, I couldn't do anything. There was no exercising. There was no walking. It hurt a lot. But by the time I, that toe started to feel better, the crack on my big toe um, nail started catching everything, like my sheets and all of that stuff. And that crack kept getting longer and longer. And every time it was tearing the skin under my nail, until it got about halfway down my toenail. And then one day it caught and ripped. And so it was like a quarter of my toenail got ripped off, but it was still attached on the side. And I was like, yeah, I was just, I've not been able to do a whole lot because <laughs> my feet hurt. Even walking was difficult. And I, I mean, I had thing, regular things that I had to do, uh, but there, there was no exercising. Eventually, I managed to get the rest of that quarter of the toenail off. That was a very painful event. But, yeah, so now my toenail is like... Okay, I'm no artist, but... Okay, so here is what toenail should look like. Sort of. Kind of. And uh, so it cracked like that right there and then that crack ended up going down to like there and then when it ripped it ripped over like that and so all of this of my toenail got ripped off not fun not pleasant so i decided to do a little experiment and I decided that I was going to, well, for one, I wasn't exercising. So I was like, okay, I can still lose the weight by, you know, with just the food alone, just, you know, having to be very strict with how I ate. But I decided instead of doing that, that I wanted to see how I could do 
if I was trying to kind of mentally track what I was eating and not restrict myself, like overly restrict myself like I would normally be doing in trying to lose the weight and kind of seeing where I, how it, how it worked out that way. I was thinking I might end up just maintaining during this time because I wasn't being super restrictive, but I also wasn't exercising at all. And I was hoping then that I didn't go up at all and prefer to go down, but well, I didn't really know how this experiment was gonna work. And Marty's been actually doing this on his own without tracking for a couple of weeks now, and he's still continuing to lose weight. So he's doing good, doing it mentally, and I kinda wanted to see how it would work for me. And well, I got on the scale this morning and this is what I got. So since my weigh-in on the 12th, I was 145.4 pounds. I've now lost uh, 1.4 pounds in that 11 days yes 11 days since that weigh in not great but also i didn't end up maintaining or gaining so i'm okay with that i'm glad it did go down i personally would have liked to seen it go down even more than that but i'm happy that it did go down so i can see that without going completely bananas and eating everything I can still manage to lose the weight without completely restricting myself though I think um, next week I'm going to go back to all the much more carefully like calculated tracking and getting back into working out because my toes finally like healed up enough that I think I'm okay to continue exercising. I'm hoping that my big toe uh, will do okay because like I said, it's only like three fourths of a nail right now. So I'm hoping that this part doesn't end up catching on stuff and yeah, cause that would, that would suck. <laughs> I don't want to lose anymore. <laughs> that was very painful. So at this point, I'm still not back to where I was before my Grand Canyon trip, but I'm not terribly far from it. And, you know, Marty has actually made these like charts where he's, I'm giving him all of my measurements and weights and stuff, and he's putting it in here and you can see it like tracking over time. And, you know, I had a pretty good, you know, going down going down and then you see this little bloop up for my uh, grand canyon trip and then it goes down and then it'll bloop up for the mobile trip and now it's going back down so i just need to get back on track and i think it's okay it's just uh, to have those little bloops um i think the problem was they were just back to back they were so close together but I don't have any other trips or anything like that for a while and hopefully no more injuries and I can get back to just doing all the things that I was doing before and hopefully continue to drop the weight. I know this is like the shortest video of these I think I've done so far but didn't really have a whole lot to update you on because of all like the toe stuff and all of that. Uh, but I still hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, but hopefully better, <laughs> click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!